Mapping biopsies, that term that we kind of coined, um, is, is where we go transperineally, under the scrotum, directly into the prostate, uh, not transrectally, because transrectally there are two issues. One is you can't biopsy the whole prostate, particularly the anterior portion. And two is if you put you know, 90 needles through somebody's rectum to try to get uh, biopsies, you're going to kind of turn it into hamburger, so to speak. So that's not a good thing, and the risk of infection is high. Well, by going transperineal, our, our risk of infection has been way, low, been very low, less than 0.5 percent, uh, and we're able to sample the whole prostate unless it's huge, and then the pubic arches are in the way, so we can't get there. But you know, if you have a prostate that's 40 to 90 grams, you know, which is you know, 90 is a large prostate, we can get the whole thing. So we do that, and we'll, it's about one, it's about uh, two biopsies per gram of prostate. So I roughly know if somebody's got a 40 gram prostate, it's going to be 80 gram, 80 biopsies. And sometimes with these cores, since they're, they're only 17 millimeters, you you actually have to do two of them. You know, so you get the whole length of the prostate. So you get the one near the apex and one deeper. We actually mark these and label them. And then once we get the information back, we put it into a little program that we can have a 3D reconstruction of the prostate and where the cancer is, look at it, and then decide, is this something we can go after with a male lumpectomy or targeted focal therapy? So, that we, and I'll tell you, about half of the patients, it turns out to be, they are. The other half, we find things that cancers on both sides, higher grade cancers, and say, hey, you really do need to have a radical prostatectomy or radical radiation.